speaking of British rule, do you play cricket, Farouk? I can't remember if we gave that to you or stole it from you. If we play it better than you, does it matter? <laughs> Whoa, the gloves come off. Unless you're wicket keeping, I guess they would. <laughs> do you play cricket, Brian? Cricket players are very alluring. Farouk did not play. I, I was not much into the cricket. I was an avid croquet player. Croquet? I played on my college team. It really is the jewel of the mallet sports. <clears throat> oh, hey, Zorka, what do you think of croquet as our next date? How long have you been here? You look pretty comfortable. Of course he's comfortable. Do you think we're bad hosts? You're a lovely host. <laughs> I came at 5.50, your mom said 6, and it's 6.45. Remind me to teach you about Pakistani time. Technically, I'm early. Speaking of which, I asked your dad about your childhood, but we started with the creation of... Of Pakistan in 1947. Oh, everything starts with the creation of Pakistan. God said, let there be Pakistan. <laughs> I remember that from Genesis. I love Phil Collins, too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, more tea before dinner, better? Always, Ami. What are we at, eight cups? <laughs> Ami? I taught him that. <laughs> Brian, like this. You can use a fork, it's okay. You never let me use the white man's utensils. I always had to use God's utensils. He needs to practice. Practice for what? Getting fatter. No one likes a skinny husband. <laughs> <laughs> now I know why white women don't bring guys home. You are old and have no guys to bring. You know, when Zarka was younger, she had a few suitors. Ooh. Suitors? <laughs> we live in Jane Austen's world. <laughs> there was only one race in Jane Austen's world, so I wouldn't have existed, which is starting to appeal to me. I admit I did not know Hamza as well as I should have. What happened with that Yusuf kid? He was a good boy. You were always together like two peas in university. I thought they would marry. Really? What happened? Oh, nothing. That was ages ago. <laughs> and then suddenly she marries Hamza. Everyone was talking about it. Uh, just like the creation of Pakistan. But now she's a double D, divorced and difficult. You can't be picky in her situation. <laughs> Ami, I'm right here. And I'm not picky or double D. I can be picky. I should have been picky before your failed marriage. We are so impressed with Brian. <laughs> a brain surgeon this time. Her last husband was just a foot doctor. A podiatrist. <laughs> Since when do feet need doctors? Every part of the body needs a doctor. Ha! Huh. I had to see a cardiologist after Zarka's divorce. She broke our hearts. Your heart wasn't the only one broken. Brian, better. Do brain doctors make more money than heart doctors? Oh. Are you serious about my daughter? He is serious, Farooq. Our daughter is the one we need to push. I am serious about finding your restroom. <laughs> Evidently, eight cups of tea is my limit. <laughs> <laughs> Down the hall. <laughs> Call your jets on me. I agree. He is a good boy, but he is a stranger. I like him. Do not make the same mistakes you always make. You do make a lot of mistakes, Betty. Will you two back off? We just met. This is not a big deal. It is a big deal. He is a second chance for you. You blew your first chance. Blue? I was in a 20-year marriage. I don't want you to waste another 20 years, Betty, with the wrong man. He is the right man. I am still trying to find out. How? We're going to couples counseling at the mosque. Did I hear couples counseling? <laughs> well, actually, yes. You heard that. I'll call Yusuf right now and confirm the appointment. Brother Yusuf, I made some pakoras, spicier than atiyas. Thank you, Sakina. I'm sure they're delicious. I didn't know you had a meeting again. I'll be back with some tea. 
Thank you for squeezing us in last minute. Oh, of course. I'd do anything for Zarka. And uh, you know what? We just have one other couple. So. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here? Oh, Zarka and her uh, <laughs> boyfriend are here for couples counseling. Hamza, why are you here? Is that a man bun? My fiance and I are getting married, so it makes sense that we're here for couples counseling. True, this is for uh, a more serious relationship. OMG! <gasps> Namaste. <laughs> You're Zarka! <laughs> Namaste is the wrong religion. You're, you're a spry one. Oh, well, it's the yoga. But you know, I'm not just a yoga teacher. You're not? No, I'm an entrepreneur, just like you. I own the Gilded Goddess Yoga Studios. Oh, I'm sure you do. And I am obsessed with your company. You are? I bought your one pound vagina weights for all of my employees last Christmas. They were such a huge hit. We now have the strongest vaginas in the country. There's nothing worse than a weak vagina. Let's I'm stop saying, saying vagina. You never know when some little thing might want to in. So true. I've been meaning to call you, but I'm so busy playing the wedding. I need to order 1,000 cardamom infused yoga mats for all of my studios. A thousand? Hey, yeah, what? hey no shop talk. I... Counseling is about me and you. Okay. It's supposed to be about everyone. No uh, stealing the limelight. I never stole anything that didn't come along willingly. Are we still talking about counseling? We should get going. Ha! Huh, there he is. Ami, Abu, you came. How lovely. What are you doing here? We're here to help you, Betty. I'll be watching him. I won't be an armchair father this time. And I'll be watching you. You're not going to push Dr. Brian away. My future son-in-law to be. It looks like we're having a group session. It's wonderful that older married couples want advice. We are here to talk about Brian and Zarka. I'd like you to focus on the issues within your own relationship. That's right, Abu. You just focus on you and on me. We are fine. We have had a successful marriage for 47 years. 50. We have had a successful marriage for 50 years. Although one can always use some tips, foreplay is highly encouraged in Islam. Nasreen. Really? I didn't know that. Islam encourages sex. I would make an excellent Muslim. <laughs> well, a healthy sex life after marriage is very important. After marriage. Is that a rule or more like a guideline? A, a rule. rule! Really? Maybe you told me it was... Are we going to address the white elephant in the room? Oh my god, I saw a white elephant on my yoga retreat in Myanmar. Uh, not now. I believe he's talking about me. Oh, uh, don't be silly. You're not that big. Excuse me, I forgot you haven't met, uh, Brian. Hi, I'm Brian. I'm dating Zarka. Hi. Brian's a brain surgeon. You're real? People keep asking me that. It's always a competition with you. <laughs> and you picked a white yoga instructor because... Oh, I have a bright aura. No, don't, don't, don't give me that. Why did you pick a brain surgeon? Feet, brain, really? What's the difference? He removes brain tumors and you remove ingrown toenails. Honey, you are projecting a lot of negative you energy. Know what she did to I me. know, I know. Let's do some camel pose, okay? Or some deep breathing. <sighs> okay, okay. Why don't we all sit down? I enjoyed Fifty Shades of Green. Uh, what does Islam say about role play? Oh, Zarka's great at role play. Loved cracking the whip. Is that a metaphor, or...? What's that supposed to mean? We were great together. Fiery. I mean, sure, we fought sometimes. All the time. Yeah, the makeup sex was amazing. Sex can't be what holds a marriage together. It worked for 20 years. Yeah, yeah. And then you threw it all away. Are you blaming me? I will not let her throw Dr. Brian away. No, you should let her throw him away for his own sake. Hey, guys, I'm right here. They can see me, right? Shut up. That was a little harsh, baby. I never liked this guy. I'm not the bad guy here! Oh, really? You're the one that had the affair! 